Hey everyone, we're here with Chef Ashley over at Bulldog Burger in Tupelo. We're gonna show her dessert that she created for the menu, uh, the Oreo Smash. So we're starting step one, we're grinding the Oreos. Uh, go ahead, that's it. In our rubble coop, she did a whole bag, but she did portions, or portions, like three different sessions, so she didn't overload the rubble coop. So it's really quick, you just grind it up, kind of show us the consistency you want with your fingers kind of like it's like a kind of like coffee grounds kind of right mm -hmm. okay so we're going to dump that into the mixing bowl which we already have the rest of the bag ground up ashley's already melted the margarine as well so she's going to take the melted margarine that she's making the crust right now mix that up with the oreo crumbs and then hand mix uh, hand mix these together. Do not put them back in a robo coop after that. Mm -hmm. And you want to make it until it's all the Oreos have absorbed the margarine. Now this recipe will do 12 each at a time. So, and then I'm getting all of you containers with airtight sealable lids uh, from H&R. You'll, you'll receive these on your next order, uh, which will be the first delivery you have in March. So once you get the margarine melted in, you can see it's not really cakey, it's just kind of sticky and it holds its, it holds its uh, form when you squeeze it. We're going to go and take a half cup per cake in these silicone trays that I bought for you. You're gonna loosely pack one cup and pour it inside the mold. You can do this to all six molds. For the video, we're just doing one. Then we're gonna take the little fruit smasher thing at the bar. Nobody really knows the name of it. Pistol, pestle, something like that? Yes. Yes. And then you're just going to tamp it down so everything's solid at the bottom. You're going to do all six at one time. Okay, we're going to cut the video here. We're going to come back with the filling next. Okay, next we make the filling. Uh, we've already taken the cream cheese, and Chef Ashley has uh, creamed the cream cheese inside the robo coop so it's nice and soft. She did pull this out earlier today to bring the room temperature. After you soften it, not before, we add the powdered sugar. If you add the powdered sugar too early, you're gonna have a dust cloud uh, over the whole kitchen. So we're gonna add the powdered sugar and the vanilla. We're gonna close the robo coop back up and we're gonna mix everything in and at this point we shouldn't have a big mess all over the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna cream that until it's just smooth. We're gonna put that in the mixing bowl. We'll be right back with the heavy cream. Okay guys, next we're doing the cream. Now you'll notice that after we scrape out the cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla, we did not clean the bowl. You don't need to. Okay, so we're gonna take a rubber spatula, use the existing Robo Coop instead of washing it out. It'll be fine. We'll put that in there, and then we're gonna puree this until we have a soft peak. We're basically making the cream is all we're doing. Uh, similar to what we do with the egg whites, so you don't have to freeze it here. Uh, I'm not gonna keep this video on the whole time. It's gonna take about a minute or so, a minute and a half. But I'll be right back when the process is finished. Right now, it's only been 20 seconds, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, it's been about 40, 45 seconds, and it came together really quick. We have this soft peak, kind of looks like whipped cream, funky color because of the other products that were in there before. But Chef Ashley's just kind of scraping down the bowl, and we're just going to run it through one more time to make sure all the goodies are blended together. We don't want to overmix this. If we do, we're basically going to make butter. Uh, so you're looking at a max time to pull this off, probably one minute inclusive of the uh, wiping down the bowl. So it's really quick. Okay. And once you get that stiff, you can see it's kind of holding its own inside the robo cube. You want to stop. Anything more, it's going to separate. If it separates, you got to throw it out and do it all over again. There's no saving it. Okay, we'll be right back to join all these ingredients. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> we have the cream cheese filling in one bowl. We have the whipped cream in the robo cube. And we're gonna add the whole Oreos. These are not pureed, blended up. Uh, go ahead and add those to the cream cheese. And we're just gonna fold these in gently by hand so we don't destroy them. These will be the garnish inside of each pie or each smash, I guess. Okay, and then once we get the Oreos worked in, we're gonna add the heavy cream. And as Chef Ashley is doing this, I'm gonna talk about the scooper. Uh, right now, we all have two size scoopers in our restaurants. Uh, we should have a number eight gray scoop, which is going to be a little small. We should have 
number six scoops, which is more of a 5.3 ounce, which will fill this container or this cupcake mold perfectly. So if you don't have a beige number six scoop, you need to reach out to H&R and get one or two for this dessert. Right now, Chef Ashley's waiting on hers. So we're using a gray scoop and we're just gonna top off a little bit more. This recipe will do 12 pies. So you'll have two solid trays uh, filled to the top with this recipe. So go ahead and fold everything in. You can see how she worked in the Oreos first. And then the heavy cream should always be folded. You can see how she's just picking it up, turning the rubber spatula back into the mix and not feeding the, the living, the Jesus out of it. How's that? Okay, she's being really gentle to keep all that air. Right now there's air incorporated into that heavy whipping cream. We want to keep it there. So when this thing refrigerates, it's got a nice height and it's got a nice bite to it. It's a nice soft bite. Okay, see how smooth that is with the nice chunks in there? That's beautiful. Okay, we're just gonna show you one of these right now for the video. But again, this recipe will do 12 desserts at a time. So again, this scoop is just gonna be a, a cut short. So if we go through all of the all of the cakes, actually this scoop is working pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go through all the cakes. You should have exactly enough batter to do all those cakes. Number six is muted. So if you have any questions, please call me. Next we'll go to plating.